So given e to the x plus 5 minus e to the negative 2, we want to find the derivative. Now one of the things that we can do, because we're just going to use a basic um, exponential derivative, e to the x plus 5 can be rewritten as e to the x times e to the fifth, and then we have the minus e to the negative 2 at the end. And if we wanted to, we could reverse the order on that first part and write it as e to the fifth times e to the x minus e to the negative 2. Now from what we know at this point of derivative rules, this e to the fifth here is just a constant. So we have a constant times a function, which means that we're just going to take the derivative of the function and then have the constant in our derivative. Well, the derivative we know of e to the x is our basic one. It's e to the x. So the derivative here is e to the fifth times e to the x. Now here's a tricky one, first time we see it, this e to the minus 2. Now remember, e to the minus 2 is just a number. It's just a constant. It's an irrational number. The derivative of a constant by itself is 0. So the rest of our derivative just looks like minus 0. And if we wanted to rewrite this, we could do the same thing to this piece that we did before and rewrite it back in the form it was in the original, e to the x plus 5, and then we don't have to write the minus 0. And you can see that well, I, we can actually calculate this derivative pretty quickly. It's just e to the x plus 5.